Isaiah chapter 21 The Oracle Concerning the Wilderness of the Sea As whirlwinds in the Negev sweep on, it comes from the wilderness, from a terrible land. A stern vision is told to me. The traitor betrays, and the destroyer destroys. Go up, O Elam. Lay siege, O Media. All the sighing she has caused I bring to an end. Therefore, my loins are filled with anguish. Pangs have seized me, like the pangs of a woman in labor. I am bowed down so that I cannot hear. I am dismayed so that I cannot see. My heart staggers. Horror has appalled me. The twilight I longed for has been turned for me into trembling. They prepare the table. They spread the rugs. They eat. They drink. Arise, O princes. Oil the shield. For thus the Lord said to me, Go, set a watchman. Let him announce what he sees. When he sees riders, horsemen in pairs, riders on donkeys, riders on camels, let him listen diligently, very diligently. Then he who saw cried out, Upon a watchtower I stand, O Lord, continually by day, and at my post I am stationed whole nights. And behold, here come riders, horsemen in pairs. And he answered, Fallen, fallen is Babylon, and all the carved images of her gods he has shattered to the ground. O oh, my threshed and winnowed one, what have I heard from the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I announce to you. The Oracle Concerning Duma One is calling to me from Seir, Watchman, what time of the night? Watchman, what time of the night? The watchman says, Morning comes, and also the night. If you will inquire, inquire. Come back again. The Oracle Concerning Arabia In the thickets of Arabia you will lodge, O caravans of Dedanites. To the thirsty bring water. Meet the fugitive with bread, O inhabitants of the land of Tima, For they have fled from the swords, from the drawn sword, from the bent bow, and from the press of battle. For thus the Lord said to me, Within a year, according to the years of a hired worker, all the glory of Kedar will come to an end, and the remainder of the archers of the mighty men of the sons of Kedar will be few. For the Lord, the God of Israel, has spoken. Chapter 22 A Prophecy Against the Valley of Vision What troubles you now, that you have all gone up on the roofs, you town so full of commotion, you city of tumult and revelry? Your slain were not killed by the sword, nor did they die in battle. All your leaders have fled together. They have been captured without using the bow. All you who were caught were taken prisoner together, having fled while the enemy was still far away. Therefore I said, Turn away from me, let me weep bitterly. Do not try to console me over the destruction of my people. The Lord, the Lord Almighty, has a day of tumult and trampling and terror in the Valley of Vision, a day of battering down walls and of crying out to the mountains. Elam takes up the quiver with her charioteers and horses. Kerr uncovers the shield. Your choicest valleys are full of chariots, and horsemen are posted at the city gates. The Lord stripped away the defenses of Judah, and you looked in that day to the weapons in the palace of the forest. You saw that the walls of the city of David were broken through in many places. You stored up water in the lower pool. You counted the buildings in Jerusalem, and tore down houses to strengthen the wall. You built a reservoir between the two walls, from the water of the old pool. But you did not look to the one who made it, or have regard for the one who planned it long ago. The Lord, the Lord Almighty, called you on that day to weep and to wail, to tear out your hair and put on sackcloth. But see, there is joy and revelry, 
slaughtering of cattle and killing of sheep, eating of meat and drinking of wine. Let us eat and drink, you say, for tomorrow we die. The Lord Almighty has revealed this in my hearing. Till your dying day, this sin will not be atoned for, says the Lord, the Lord Almighty. This is what the Lord, the Lord Almighty, says. Go, say to this steward, to Shebna, the palace administrator, What are you doing here, and who gave you permission to cut out a grave for yourself here? Hewing your grave on the height, and chiseling your resting place in the rock, Behold, the Lord is about to hurl you violently, you strong man, and he is about to grasp you firmly and wrap you up tightly like a ball, to be driven into a vast country. There you will die, and there your splendid chariots will be, you shame of your master's house. I will depose you from your office, and I will pull you down from your position. Then it will come about on that day that I will summon my servant Eliakim, the son of Hilkiah, and I will clothe him with your tunic, and tie your sash securely around him. I will hand your authority over to him, and he will become a father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. Then I will put the key of the house of David on his shoulder. When he opens, no one will shut. When he shuts, no one will open. I will drive him like a peg in a firm place, and he will become a throne of glory to his father's house. So they will hang on him all the glory of his father's house, the offspring and the descendants, all the least of vessels, from bowls to all the jars. On that day, declares the Lord of Armies, the peg driven into a firm place will give way, it will even break off and fall, and the load that is hanging on it will be cut off, for the Lord has spoken. Chapter 23 The Pronouncement Concerning Tyre Wail, you ships of Tarshish, for Tyre is destroyed, without house or harbor. It is reported to them from the land of Cyprus, Be silent, you inhabitants of the coastland, you merchants of Sidon. Your messengers crossed the sea and were on many waters, the grain of the Nile, the harvest of the river, was her revenue, and she was the market of nations. Be ashamed, Sidon, for the sea speaks, the stronghold of the sea, saying, I have neither been in labor nor given birth. I have neither brought up young men nor raised virgins. When the report reaches Egypt, they will be in anguish over the report of Tyre. Pass over to Tarshish. Wail, you inhabitants of the coastland. Is this your jubilant city, whose origin is from antiquity, whose feet used to bring her to colonize distant places? Who has planned this against Tyre, the bestower of crowns? Whose merchants were princes, whose traders were the honored of the earth? The Lord of Armies has planned it, to defile the pride of all her beauty to despise all the honored of the earth. Overflow your land like the Nile, you daughter of Tarshish. There is no more restraint. He has stretched his hand out over the sea. He has made the kingdoms tremble. The Lord has given a command concerning Canaan to demolish its strongholds. He has said, You shall not be jubilant any more, you crushed virgin daughter of Sidon. Arise, Pass over to Cyprus, even there you will find no rest. Behold, the land of the Chaldeans, this is the people that did not exist. Assyria allocated it for desert creatures. They erected their siege towers, they stripped its palaces, they made it a ruin. Wail, you ships of Tarshish, for your stronghold is destroyed. Now on that day, Tyre will be forgotten for seventy years like the days of one king. At the end of seventy years, it will happen to Tyre as in the song of a prostitute. Take your harp, wander around the city, you forgotten prostitute. Pluck the strings skillfully, 
sing many songs that you may be remembered. It will come about at the end of seventy years that the Lord will visit Tyre. Then she will go back to her prostitute's wages and commit prostitution with all the kingdoms on the face of the earth. Her profit and her prostitute's wages will be sacred to the Lord. It will not be stored up or hoarded, but her profit will become sufficient food and magnificent attire for those who dwell in the presence of the Lord. Chapter 24 Behold, the Lord lays the earth waste, devastates it, twists its surface, and scatters its inhabitants. And the people will be like the priest, the servant like his master, the female servant like her mistress, the buyer like the seller, the lender like the borrower, the creditor like the debtor. The earth will be completely laid waste and completely plundered, for the Lord has spoken this word. The earth dries up and crumbles away, the mainland dries out and crumbles away, the exalted of the people of the earth dwindle. The earth is also defiled by its inhabitants, for they violated laws, altered statutes, and broke the everlasting covenant. Therefore, a curse devours the earth, and those who live on it suffer for their guilt. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth decrease in number, and few people are left. The grapevines waste away, and there is no new vine. All the merrymakers sigh and mourn. The cheerful sound of tambourines is stilled. The happy cries of celebration are heard no more. The melodious chords of the harp are silent. Gone are the joys of wine and song. Alcoholic drinks turn bitter in the mouth. The city writhes in chaos. Every home is locked to keep out intruders. Mobs gather in the streets, crying out for wine. Joy has turned to gloom. Gladness has been banished from the land. The city is left in ruins, its gates battered down. Throughout the earth, the story is the same. Only a remnant is left. Like the stray olives left on the tree, or the few grapes left on the vine after harvest. But all who are left shout and sing for joy. Those in the west praise the Lord's majesty. In eastern lands, give glory to the Lord. In the lands beyond the sea, praise the name of the Lord, the God of Israel. We hear songs of praise from the ends of the earth. Songs that give glory to the righteous one. But my heart is heavy with grief. Weep for me, for I wither away. Deceit still prevails, and treachery is everywhere. Terror and traps and snares will be your lot, you people of the earth. Those who flee in terror will fall into a trap, and those who escape the trap will be caught in a snare. Destruction falls like rain from the heavens. The foundations of the earth shake. The earth has broken up. It has utterly collapsed. It is violently shaken. The earth staggers like a drunk. It trembles like a tent in a storm. It falls and will not rise again. For the guilt of its rebellion is very heavy. In that day, the Lord will punish the gods in the heavens and the proud rulers of the nations on earth. They will be rounded up and put in prison. They will be shut up in prison and will finally be punished. Then the glory of the moon will wane, and the brightness of the sun will fade. For the Lord of Heaven's armies will rule on Mount Zion. He will rule in great glory in Jerusalem, in the sight of all the leaders of his people.